It's CBSE NCRT Solutions Chapter 5 Arithmetic Progressions Exercise 5.3 Question Number 2 The problem is find the sums given below here We have 3 arithmetic progressions and we are asked to find sum of each of them We can use different formula here Ok, I'll write the important formula that we are going to use to solve these 3 parts The first formula is SN equal to n divided by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. This is the formula that we use to find sum of n terms of any given ap. We cannot use this formula directly because we don't know the value of n here. Because we don't know how many terms are there in ap, we cannot use this formula in order to solve these questions directly. We cannot find sum directly. So in order to find the value of n, we will use formula which is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times t. This is the formula that we use to find nth term of any given arithmetic progression. Here we have the last term of arithmetic progressions given. So from here we can find the value of n and we will substitute the value of n in this formula and we will get the value of sum of all these terms. We can use these two formulae to solve these three parts or we can use formula Sn equal to n divided by 2 a plus l where l is the last term, a is the first term and n is the number of terms in any given arithmetic progression. This is the formula that we can also use to find sum of n terms of ap. And we cannot solve the value of sum here directly by using this formula because we won't have value of n here too so in order to find the value of n we will again use this formula so formula is a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times d so either we can use these two formulae or we can use these top two I'll be using these two formulae to solve these three parts okay let's go through these three questions we have to solve 10 7 plus 10 1 by 2 this is a mixed fraction here plus 14 up to 84 so first term of this AP is equal to 7 and the common difference here is equal to 10 1 divided by 2 minus 7 now if we convert this mixed fraction into proper fraction uh, we get 21 divided by 2 minus 7 and we get here 2 21 minus 7 is uh, 14 uh, 21 minus 7 is here 14 and uh, we get here sorry one second twenty one divided by two minus seven two here and we get here seven divided by two because at the top we will get twenty we will get two in the new uh, denominator and twenty one minus fourteen equal to seven divided by two. So 7 by, divided by 2 is the common difference here and we don't know the value of n here. So this is unknown to us. So using this formula here we can find the value of n. So let's suppose that this 84 is the nth term of AP. So if we can find that at which location this 84 term, this term is present, we will get the number of terms present in the arithmetic progression. So I will write the formula first and then I will substitute 84 here in place of a n and the value of uh, first term is 7 and 9 minus 1 times t. Uh, n minus 1 times t it's n minus 1 times t is 7 divided by 2. So I get here 84 equal to uh, if we solve this we will get here something like 14 plus 7 n minus 7 divided by 2. I, I assume that you know how to solve uh, such type of equations and we get here 168 minus 7 equal to 7n and we get here n equal to 161 divided by 7 equal to 23 so value of n here is equal to 23 now I can use formula to find sum of n terms of AP and it's equal to n divided by 2 to a plus n minus 1 times t value of n is 23 divided by 2 and 2 times a is 7 here and value of n here is 23 minus 1 times 7 divided by 2 now solving all of that we will get 
value of sum equal to 10461 divided by 2 if we solve all of that part now coming to the second part we will have 30 we have, the question is 34 plus 32 plus 30 plus up to so on plus 10 here the first term of AP is 34 and common difference is 32 minus 34 equal to minus 2 and n is again unknown to us so I'll use the same formula to find the value of n so I will substitute the last term with 10 and this is the nth term so I have supposed that this 10 is present at the nth location so 34 here and n minus 1 times minus 2 and I get here minus 20 10 equal to 34 minus 2 n plus 2 so I can bring this 34 to the other side and this 2 to, to the other side I will get get here minus 24 equal to minus 2 if I bring this minus 34 to the other side I'll get minus 24 and this to the to the this 2 to the left hand side 2 so I'll get here minus 24 minus 2 equal to minus 2 n so it's equal to minus 26 equal to minus 2 n so I get here n equal to minus 26 divided by minus 2 and it's equal to 13 so I get value of n equal to 13 here now I can use formula here which we use to find sum of n terms of AP so n is equal to 13 divided by 2 and 2 times a is 34 and n is 13 minus 1 times d d is a common difference is minus 2 and I get here 13 divided by 2 34 times 2 is 68 and 13 minus 1 is 12 and 12 times minus 2 is minus 24 so I get here 13 divided by 2 times 44 68 minus 24 is 44 and I this 2 gets cancelled by this 20 uh, uh, this 2 gets cancelled by this 44 and we get 22 here and 13 times 22 is 286 so this is the solution now we can move to the third part which is uh, the procedure is the same it's minus 5 minus 8 plus minus 11 plus up to so on it's um, minus 230 here so we, we will use the same procedure, uh, procedure it's a equal to minus 5 which is the first term and common difference is equal to minus 8 minus minus 5 just be careful here so it's equal to minus 8 plus 5 equal to minus 3 so common difference is equal to minus 3 here now using the same formula to find the value of n a n equal to a plus n minus 1 times d I can substitute this minus 230 here equal to value of a is minus 5 plus n minus 1 times d d is minus 3 here so I can bring this uh, minus 5 to the other side I'll get minus 225 equal to minus 3 n plus 3 and minus 225 and minus 3 can be bring to the I will bring this uh, plus 3 to the left hand side it will become minus 225 minus 3 equal to minus 3 n and I get here something like minus 228 equal to minus 3 n so n is equal to minus 228 divided by minus 3 so I get here 76 n is equal to 76 now using the same formula which is which we use to find sum of n terms which we find uh, which we use to find sum of n terms of any given AP and this is n divided by 2 to a plus n minus 1 times d the value of n here is 76 that we just found and 2 times the value of a is minus 5 and n is again here 76 minus 1 times value of d the value of common difference is minus 3 so 76 divided by 2 is 38 and I get here minus 10 and 76 minus 1 is 75 and 75 minus 3 is minus 225 so it's 38 times minus 235 so 38 times minus 2, 235 is minus 8, 9, so this is the answer for third part 
so that's about uh, problem number two uh, chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.3 in the next video I'll be covering question number three chapter 5 arithmetic progressions exercise 5.3 see you guys